Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to attempt another five minute traveler's notebook layout. Again, this took me a little bit longer than five minutes. If you haven't seen my first video, I will link it up here for you. That was definitely a fail as far as the five minute layout went. Today I managed to get it down to about, it was about 12 minutes it took me. So I, um, I'm getting quicker. Today I'm working with three photos. They are two by two and a half, so they do fit in a vertical line uh, on my notebook. I decided that that purple striped paper went uh, best with the photos. That's a digital uh, digital paper from Nellie and Clem. And so the I've done my journaling and I've done that on a separate bit of paper. So instead of just trimming out my journaling, I've trimmed it down so that it is traveler's notebook size. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to do this stamping. So this is a stamp from Uniquely Creative. I love it, this little splatter stamp. I'm using some milled lavender distress oxide. It was the uh, closest purple that I had to this stripe. And I'm just stamping it all along the edge of the paper. So it kind of fades out into the journaling. And I love that kind of stampy transition. Now, as far as the title for my page goes, you can see this This is not an alpha. Uh, this is a set of um, kind of words that I put together with a whole bunch of like scrap alphas uh, a very, very long time ago. So I went through all of my very well used alpha sheets and made words with what I could so that I could throw out the rest. I've got two of these six by 12 sheets with words on it and I decided to use one today for my title. So combining a couple of words, I've got a happy dog. It does fit again vertically on my traveler's notebook, but these alphas are super old. Um, so I am just adding a little bit of liquid adhesive onto them just to make sure that they stay stuck because uh, the last thing I want is to have like one of these very few letters <laughs> fall off out of my title. So I've really got the basics of my layout done already and if I was being smart and really trying to get into that five minute mode I could have stopped there but I decided I wanted to add something in the way of embellishments so I grabbed out my Vintage Love stamp set from Citrus Twist and I'm going to stamp a few little uh, layered florals here. Now I got smart and created a whole bunch of these blanks uh, with my Cricut so that I didn't have to fussy cut every time I wanted to go ahead and uh, stamp some of these layered florals and it's got a I've got to say it was a lifesaver. It took me a little bit of time to set up the file. Um, but one, now that I've got it, I can stamp as many as I want, which you can see here I did. I didn't make you watch all of that. I just used um, Kitsch Flamingo and I can't remember the other one, <laughs> sorry, the darker purple to stamp those florals. I also stamped a few of the little leaves. I did them in the same colors though, because I've got this really like monochromatic look going on. I wanted to kind of keep that with the florals. Now I did struggle a little bit with this kind of vertical layout, how I would end up getting some sort of visual triangle in there. I really wanted to add three little clusters of flowers. So it did take me a tiny minute just to kind of work out how I was gonna lay them all out. Uh, and once I realized that I could kind of fit three, it would mean that I would have to cut one of these florals. You'll see how I do that in just a second. Um, it all was a lot quicker from there. So I'm using some liquid adhesive to adhere down the floral pieces, but then I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to stick down my photos. I sort of stopped before I stuck it down. I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the page. So before I stick down each of the photos, I'm just going to bunch up a little bit of purple thread underneath them. It just gives like it's a little bit kind of a flat page. It gives it a little bit more of texture to it. So I'm going to repeat that process the three times, just layering up these photos uh, with the florals and the threads. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of that. But here I am with my third floral and to cut it along the spine, I simply just used my scissors, snipped it, and then I've got like a tiny little gap between the two pieces so that my page can, my page can still fold because these florals are on quite sort of thick cardstock. 
Uh, if I had bent it over the fold of my notebook, it definitely would not have worked. Now, I haven't used sequins in quite a while. I needed a bit of a fix, so I'm adding a little bit of subtle sparkle and shine with these adhesive white ones, just kind of keeping them around those three um, floral clusters. And that's my page all done. So this did take a little bit longer than five minutes, obviously, but it was still a fast page to put together, and I love how it turned out. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen for you. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye!